Hey guys, what's good? This is your boy Mato MTL, and we're back with another review. Today we're going to be looking at the Nike Air Max 1 Susans. So I'm super excited to share this brand new review with you guys on the Nike Air Max 1 Susans. This is the latest collaboration between Leica Studios and Nike. Of course, Leica Studios having its tie to Travis Knight, who is, of course, Phil Knight, founder of Nike's son, uh, we're ultimately able to get some really cool collaborations when Leica comes out with brand new movies. So when I went to go see Missing Link, I was super excited to see that my bid on StockX went through that same night and I got these babies right here. The materials on this sneaker are absolutely insane. Like I seriously don't think I've picked up a nicer put together sneaker all year. This sneaker features a combination of really interesting materials, something that I don't really have in my collection at all. So we're gonna break this sneaker down piece by piece, starting with the tongue. You're gonna notice here, of course, the tiny little playful detail that Nike decided to put. Instead of Nike Air Max 1, well, of course, they crossed it out and put the Air Max Susan. Going down now from the tongue, you see that the tongue is actually made in a very plush sort of brown leather. Uh, I can see this creasing up and wrinkling up really hard over wear and time, so keep that in mind. So the tongue is built in a sort of brown leather, which you might find as well on the eyelet holes up here at the top of the sneaker that are also blocked by buttons. So you can't really uh, go through them with the shoelaces, but it's a really interesting little touch. Going down now to the midsole, you're gonna see the same color material, though it's a leather midsole. And then at the bottom, completed with a gum outsole. We also have an interesting sort of lace material. I would almost say it's a very soft, like a silky linen type material. One of mine has already started to fray. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on camera, but one of them has already started to fray. Uh, so I'm sure that these are gonna start breaking down after wear. Um, but again, just a very nice touch to go with the sneaker. Moving down from the shoelaces, we now meet the white mesh base of the sneaker, which you can find on the toe box. Right above that, you're gonna meet the hairy tan suede that's very, very soft and beautiful on the sneaker, which also wraps around the back. Moving down now to, of course, the part that attracts everyone's attention, the little plaid material here that reflects Mr. Link's suit from the movie. Super, super beautiful detail. I absolutely, I think I bought the shoes because of this plaid. It looks amazing, um, and ultimately because of how it mixes with this green corduroy that we see around the sneaker both on the lateral and medial sides, everything is the same except for the little red Nike swoosh. This is of course made in leather and the off-white cream color on the lateral side in leather as well. Move down to the very back of the sneaker where of course we meet some white leather. Then we have our leather midsole with our Nike Air Max 1 air bubble and completed with a gum bottom outsole. Moving on now to the inside of the sneaker, we have a sort of interesting, I guess you would say fleece sock liner completed with Nike Air branding on a cork insole. I have to admit, I think what made me want to pull the trigger on these the most was because of how much I appreciate the work that Leica puts into their films. Uh, we really, really ask for more in animation and we're finally getting it with Leica Studios. So I'm super excited to be contributing to those guys' success. Unfortunately, the film Missing Link didn't open to some very strong box office results and actually is probably one of the worst box office openings that Leica Studio has had in their whole portfolio of films. So unfortunately, the film wasn't as hyped up, but the sneaker is definitely and I have to say, I might go out on record for this, it might be the best collaboration that Nike has made with Leica. My grails are the Nike Coraline Dunks. And I think when it comes to a sneaker that is made up of so many different materials that work well together and that actually stand out like crazy and draw so much attention that like everyone can enjoy them, I really think that the Nike Air Max 1 Susans take the cake on that one. So now that we're done with the sneakers, we can move on to the box. The box is interesting. I wouldn't say it's the best box that they've ever made. You have this sort of plaid pattern here all around the outside of the sneaker box. And of course, you got your size tag right there. Completed with a corduroy or forest green uh, top, which when you pop open, reads 
Think of them as the long-lost descendant of the Air Max family. Inspired by the visual virtuosos at Leica and their latest film, Missing Link, the Air Susan brings the spirit of the movie's main character to a shoe long known for making people stop and stare. Now this is the evolution of imagination. So an interesting touch here on the top of the box. Moving on to the inside of the box, you have a sort of leaves in a blue and hues of blue wrapping paper. Uh, this is to reflect uh, leaves and the sort of feel of the film. The film goes through a very strong saturated color palette. Uh, as you can see already, some very strong colors present uh, and it matches the film perfectly. And of course, I hope no spoiler alert, but if you guys haven't seen Missing Link, Susan is Bigfoot, so they find him in the forest, and ultimately this makes sense, that when you're about to find the sneakers called Susan, well, you find them in the forest. Of course, you get your standard stock X, tags, paper, stickers, etc. And that's basically about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Nike Air Max 1 Susans. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're one of the first ones to know as soon as I drop a new video. With that said, remember guys, wear your kicks, take care of them, and have a great day guys. Peace.